broadcast tonight coming to you from New York City amid all the hustle and bustle of the streets of Manhattan. A Sunday afternoon with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. With Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. With the All-Star game almost near, let's see how the East is shaking out. Taking a look at New York, this season has been a struggle for them. They're down at the bottom of the conference. And checking out Miami, sitting directly below them, just one spot down. I think for the Heat, they haven't gotten anywhere near where they want it to be this season. Pretty clear there's a big talent gap between them and the true contenders. Well, you hope that they realize that and they have some self-awareness, but can they win some games, carry some positive energy, maybe some momentum into the offseason with which to build on? So the opening lineup for the Heat, Jimmy Butler is out there with Bam Adebayo. Then there's Myers Leonard and it's Hero into the shooting guard position. And for the Knicks, it's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Smith is out there with Barrett. And it's Dotson in at the three slot. Now, here is Smith. Two struggling teams with frustrated players. Brent, when you were playing, did you have any kind of trick for kind of getting out of that malaise, that trough? Sometimes for individuals, you have things that you've gone to in the past, whether it was through your high school career or your collegiate career. The interesting thing about a team dynamic, Kevin, is how do you do it collectively? And so the best way is to try to find something that you can do to step away from the game. Get your mind onto something else. Try to normalize an experience throughout the year. Like what? I mean, give me an example. Well, maybe something where your, your team goes out to go see a movie together or on the road. You, you, you go somewhere to a museum. or you, I know it sounds silly, but any time that you have that kind of away experience and you come back in, the perspective on the next game changes maybe just enough for you guys to recover. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Abayo down low. Randall on him. Good! Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it, went right into the shot. And here's Smith. He's coming off a 16-point game against New Orleans. And you could tell the defense was really nervous dribbling or passing the ball anywhere near him in that one. He took advantage of their indecisiveness continually throughout the night, racking up three steals. Shot clock at two, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Miami called for the foul. And for a lot of these kids, Greg, it's interesting how quickly teams expect them to get up to speed. Case in point, R.J. Barrett. Yeah, I mean, he had only the one year of college already being asked to produce. Fortunately, he's very mature for his age and generally plays up to the level of competition. And he makes the first. And Greg, talking to scouts about R.J. Barrett, they love the athleticism. But what makes him especially good is the work ethic and the confidence. Yes, yeah, some elite prospects will, will take plays off. This guy never does. He's not one that sits around and reads his press clippings. He's a warrior, a leader, and, and he's proven to be a winner. He's off on the second. Well, the Knicks had a lot of turnover trading for expiring contracts. They did what they could to accommodate the wishes of a lot of vets. Yeah, the problem right now for the Knicks is they're not inviting to a lot of free agents, and that's really where they're trying to make their play. So fascinating over the course of the past decade that New York has not been able to attract the top-tier talent. So building through the draft, Coach Fisdale hopeful that they'll land a star one way or another. And you can see that Butler is the total package. Solid at recognizing when one of his guys is open. Smith the pass to Robinson. And here's Barrett. It's Autobio with the rebound. 
Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. For New York, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Now, here's Barrett. D right on him. It's deflected and out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And looking now at some numbers for Dodson, how his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging about seven points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. And he's putting in the effort, and you can see him getting better with time. So many little things that you have to learn to grow as a player. He's just going through a bit of that process right now. And here are the Heat now after R.J. Barrett's miss. Here's Hero, and it's Miami with another. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Back to Smith from the arc. Offensive rebound. Here's Robinson. Great D that time from Leonard. We're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Here's Butler. Knicks with the rebound. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, what, what we saw in that game and what you see around the league is a questionable dependency on the triple. Well, you have to be able to use the three-point line in some way. It's just such a weapon. And in that game, it was just not there for him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Halfway through the season, Brent, as a team, are you still discovering new ways to win? Yeah, I would say if you had a set of encyclopedias, when you get to around January, you should be in the MN section, Kevin. <laughs> so there, do, do people know what encyclopedias are? But I, it, I can picture okay. my mind. I know exactly what you're saying. So from that point on in the season, you again, you have a great foundation to build on, and there's a lot of things that you can do that are just slight wrinkles to what it is you already do, and that's the great thing for coaches is to challenge the players to see how far through that encyclopedia we can go. What letter can we get to in the alphabet by the end of the year? And one issue for the Heat for years now, inefficient shooting. Well, young players are learning how to defend, so you need to do that first. But if you can't go down on the offensive end and you can't find ways to dig out of holes by shooting the basketball, you get down 10 or 12 points. Defense sometimes isn't enough. They've been the bottom third in points scored for quite a while. Here's none. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's none. To the paint. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Heroes got six. Knicks trail by four. Smith the pass to Randall. Feeds it to Robinson. Shoots over Leonard. Robinson misses. Miami's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Butler in the corner. No good on the triple. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Out to the wing. Now, here's Barrett. He's tightly guarded. And the Knicks miss again. Miami leading by four. Here's none. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Nunn's got his second basket. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And you look at Jimmy Butler. Goes about 6'8", about 230 pounds. Uh, great, great size on the wing. And he keeps himself in tip-top shape. His strength, one thing I'm not sure the casual fan even recognizes. And now, on our rookie leaderboard, who are the rookies grabbing the most rebounds in the NBA right now? 
Let's take a look. Fifth is R.J. Barrett. And, and you know, rebounding was a skill that I thought would translate to the NBA for him. We knew he could board with the best of them, and he has not disappointed. Now, here is Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That's tipped. The steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Nunn. Hammers it home to polish off the break. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Randall no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Good on the triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Nice shot by Smith. That was an easy. Dennis Smith Jr. with a high degree of difficulty on that one. Here's none. He has six. Let's a floater go. Leonard against Robinson. Lock at six. For the three. Leonard, no luck. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Here's Miami now. They're on a 15-6 run. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That'll be his second foul of the game. A different look for New York. Portis comes in for Mitchell Robinson. And Harkless is subbed in for Barrett. And Dragic with the basket on the assist from Crowder. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Harkless with it. The pass to Dotson. Smith outside. Here's Portis. Unloads from nine. Here's Harkless. The shot missing. Some solid defense from Butler. Here's Hero. Nailed from three-point land. And it's a 12-point heat lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here is Smith. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Randall down low, defended by Crowder, and he comes up with the deuce. The strength and the quickness, and now the confidence coming along as Randall's able to score. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Heat, coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Here's Smith. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Smith the pass to Randall, and Randall throws it down. Yeah, Randall does a good job. His frame alone helps to create some space just with a little pivot there, able to find a way to score. Here's Dragic. 11 points for him in that last game against Brooklyn. Outside Crowder. Stripped away. Smith on the wing. And Smith with the stop. All about the burst there. Dennis Smith Jr. creating the separation. Now Dragic. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Out of dishes to Dragic. On the wing. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Dotson. Some solid defense from Butler. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Well, Fisdale, part of those great teams in Miami as an assistant coach with Eric Spolstra. He coaches with a lot of fire 
and enthusiasm is very involved emotionally in what his team does on a daily basis and it's why a lot of these young players are gravitating towards his coaching staff. Now here's Butler. 14 points from him the last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. That shot wide open. And the Heat lead by 10. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. New York calls timeout. And New York hoped that Fizdale's likability would be a factor in free agency. Yeah, I think it's going to help the Knicks as they move forward here. Try to find some stability with their coach. That way, David Fizdale and his messaging can remain consistent with the type of players that they try to attract here to Gotham. Well, a chance to check out Andre Iguodala. His last 10 games, he's averaging about seven points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. And he can play some valuable minutes on the wing for this team. I just want to kick back and lounge here because when this guy's hot, it's a love story. And when he's cold, it's a nightmare. So sit back, get your popcorn. Let's see what he does. Now, here's Portis. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him, but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. Look, Kevin, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one errant pass. Knox, he's checked in for Maurice Hartless. 156 left in the first quarter. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Butler. Rebounded by Knox. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. To the inside. Here's Gibson. Uses the glass to drop it in. Gibson's got it back down to within single digits for the Knicks. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. On offense, here are the Heat. Outside Dragic. Over Peyton. That shot off the mark. So New York will take it the other way. And the rejection by Iguodala. Iguodala demonstrating his defensive prowess yet again. Superb reach on that block. Robinson's checked in for Butler. The Heat leading by eight. Dragic finds Olenek. Dragic with it. Back to Iguodala. Floats it up for Iguodala. And he lays in the alley-oop. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And here are the Heat now. 36 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Dragic. Great D that time from Portis. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And the basket by Knox. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first. And here's Dragic. With one on the clock. And so it's the Miami Heat in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
The trade deadline is approaching, and Jimmy Butler talked about how it feels hearing your name in trade rumors. Well, it's different for everybody, to tell you the truth. For me, I don't think about it because whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You go out there and control what you can control. You know, try to help your team win games, play to the best of your ability. And if it just so happens you get traded, then you got to suit up and play for the next team. Staying level-headed and ready for whatever's next, uh, that's Jimmy's mindset, Greg, in a nutshell. And it's fair to say that the level of professionalism and maturity he possesses is really impressive. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Knicks. We've got Bobby Fortis. Taj Gibson is out there with Knox. Then there's Alfred Payton, and it's Dotson in at the two. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Kevin, before he became a head coach in Memphis and New York, David Fisdale spent eight seasons as an assistant under Eric Spolstra in Miami. Now, Spo said he's a brilliant basketball mind that has exceptional gold standard level communication skills. One of the most talented coaches I've been around. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. And that one falls for Dragic. And the veteran Goran Dragic still producing late in his career. Not the force he once was, but always a source of playmaking and scoring. Now here's Gibson, shoots over Crowder, and with that, the Heat lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Gibson. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And here's Dragic, he'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Good ball movement here by Miami. Back to Igudala. He doesn't hit that one. Great D that time from Portis. Well, you look at the career of Dragic, Greg, he's always been a scoring point guard. Yeah, and as Dragic has aged, he has learned to lean more and more on his outside shot. Even when his first step and speed start to falter, he'll find ways to put up points. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. In player development, Brent, what are some of the primary things that can be taught? I think in today's game, what a lot of PD coaches are looking at, Kevin, is just decision making, playing out of the pick and roll and coming off into a spot where you're making the correct reads. It's much like, and you cover a lot of football where you can talk to quarterbacks about their check down. Yes. I think you can teach guys how it is that when they come off a screen, what's going to be available to them and paint pictures for them so that when they're on the floor, they become second nature in terms of their decision making. That can be huge. And then the second thing is always player development working on confidence in shooting the basketball. You just want guys to feel like whatever shot they're taking, they've got a great chance to make it. And as most of us expected, Andre Iguodala continues to be a huge factor for anybody that he plays for. With his athleticism waning just a little bit, it's his experience and know-how that impacts the game the most, just being in the right spot at the right time, taking the right calculated gamble. Andre Iguodala still impacting games at his age. And that one misses. And for Iguodala, Brent staying strong late in his career, he claims that taking up golf has helped him. You know how many <laughs> NBA coaches have tried to get away with that very same thing, Kevin? Almost all of them. But according to what Andre says is the more that he goes out and plays golf and challenges himself as he's playing the course and staying with it mentally, 
he feels like the more that's helping him on the court. And as he gets to this advanced age where athleticism is going away, it's more about the mindset and the mind game. So tee it up. Maybe that's helping Andre in ways that we don't know about. He's still effective. Now, here's Barrett after the miss from Goran Dragic. And let's take a minute now to give a tip of the cap to the top rookie defenders in the NBA this season. Fifth is R.J. Barrett. How about the anticipation and really his aggressive mindset defensively? He's always pressuring, always looking for an opportunity to force a turnover. The first one falls. And with this summer signing of Jimmy Butler, the Miami Heat demonstrating they still can lure star talent to South Beach. The, the Heat back on the rise. The Butler signing sets the stage for the summer of 2021 when they should have the cap space to sign another Max player. And the Heat making a change here. Nunn's checked in. And so he hits both. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's none. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got four rebounds now tonight. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Good on the shot. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Heat with the lead. Here's none. He's got six. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Poked away. Gibson passes to Robinson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That went on Olenek. For New York, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for the Heat. drops he ties it up for Miami they've gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter shoots he squares up and sinks it just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter now here's Peyton guarded closer basket counts Robinson's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Uh, you risk getting torched when somebody's open. Peyton's skilled enough to find the open man. The Heat have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And out of Marquette, Jay Crowder, Frank, a sturdy two-way wing player. A great system player and blue guy. He had his best years with the Celtics. On the final year of this contract, a great value considering what he brings to the table. Smith checked in for New York. Free throw, no good for Crowder. Ray, you suited up for six teams in your NBA career. What do you think about some of the front offices that you came across during that playing time? 
I think when you find a, a front office, when you move from franchise to franchise, is what it is that they, they value most. And there were some franchises, quite frankly, Kevin, that I played for where they just wanted you to show up on time, get there, play the game, and leave. Those franchises end up having a lot of struggle to find some footing in the league. They also find trouble finding uh, attraction from free agency because people understand the culture just isn't there. There are other teams that do so many other things well, Kevin. You feel so much more valued as a player throughout your course of your career. Uh, those are the places that ended up sticking with you. And I think the league is doing a great job from top to oh, oh, Yikes. I mean, that's a rugged play. Goodness gracious. Here's Barrett. And here's a look at some numbers for Barrett. He's been playing a much bigger role in their offense over the past five games. It, it comes across in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. He's off on the first. Julius Randle's checked in for the Knicks. Harkless comes in for Kevin Knox. And Miami also making a switch. Heroes checked in. And he sinks the second. So it's Miami now. They've held a 12-point lead early. Last time they met was in Miami. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench was the difference. Well, the second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. Harkless with the steal. In the corner, Barrett with it. Outside, Robinson kicks it to Smith. Shot clock at six. Inside, tipped away. Randall, it's rebounded by Leonard. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And he's flourishing as a scorer. But, Brent, how does Julius Randle take that next step? Well, I think, Kevin, if he keeps improving on his consistency, shooting from that 10-foot to 16-foot range where guys are daring him to shoot and not wanting to deal with him driving into them. You know, last year, he went up six percentage points from 35% to 41% in that 10 to 16-foot range. You keep seeing that kind of improvement. The growth in his game is going to come. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. Now, Randall really improved in his shooting range from 10 to 16 feet last year, and that just makes him so much more a complete offensive threat in any system he plays in. Pass to Autobio. Here's none, covered by Smith. Leonard, that's for two. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Leonard's got four this quarter. Becoming dominant in the catch and shoot, Leonard has really polished up the mechanics on that jump shot. Smith, the pass to Barrett. Now Harkless. Smith with a wide open look. Here's Robinson. Easy jumper from very short distance. Robinson's got seven points. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Here's none. Covered by Smith. Leonard trying to break free. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Dennis Smith. The Heat shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. And the Knicks making a change here. Peyton's checked in. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Passes it to Barrett. Randall with the ball. Over Adebayo. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Randall. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. 
Here's Hero. He's defended by Randall. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. Here's none. He's got eight. Nice four for seven from the four with that shot. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now the pass to Barrett. Robinson kicks to Randall. New York moving it around. The shot by Harkless, no good. Miami leading by six. They get a hand on it. Butler with the ball. Butler covering. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A different look for New York. Fortis, he's checked in for Robinson. And Damian Dotson subbed in for Barrett. Here's Hero. He's got nine. Pass to none. Outside Butler, beyond the arc. Happy to see that one go in after missing six of his nine shots today. I just like how confident Butler looks pulling up from deep. Knows he has what it takes to bury that jump shot on a consistent basis. Pass to Harkins. He kicks it to Peyton. And they're moving it up. Here's none. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Knicks trail by 11. Peyton passes to Fortis. Can they get it? No good that time. Great D that time from Leonard. For Miami, they have shot three of five at the foul line. And the first one drops. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Goran Dragic is checked in for Hero. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's Dotson. Last time, 14 points for him. Randall dishes to Harkless. Down low. Here's Portis. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Nunn, and yes, it's good. Nunn's got 10 points in the quarter. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, we all know that circumstances and time changes everything. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going to be the cornerstone. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed the promising point guard was traded to the Knicks and Smith said it was important it's a big opportunity and I've just got to make the most of it well Kevin we know one thing in New York the ball is back in Smith's hand and DA that's when he is at his best thank you Rogic kicks to Adebayo here's none 16 points for him Six to shoot. Now here's Butler, defended by Harkless. Butler, no good. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. It's a 13-point game. Next up for them, the Bucks in Milwaukee. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Randall getting up there explosive vertically on that play with great timing. Miami's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Butler. Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Dotson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. 
On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Friday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for that matchup with the Kings, that's where you have got to bring your A game, especially when you know you're going to be fighting an uphill battle all night long. And the first one at the line is good. It's checked in for the Knicks. Olenek is checked in for the Heat. So he hits one of two from the stripe. And bam, Adebayo. He just plays with so much energy when he's on the floor. Boy, he is ferocious on both ends of the floor. Great energy player who can finish in the paint with the best of them. Very quick on his feet and can cover a lot of ground for a player his size. Here's Randall on the money with the shot from the left block. Randall's got seven points for the quarter. Now Randall is looking like tonight he's capable of taking on the whole offensive load. The Heat leading by 10. Passes it to Nunn. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. There's a minute left now here in the second. Over in the corner, Harkless. There's the pass to Fortis. Unloads from 13. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. None passes to Autobio. Butler deciding where to go with it. Outside Dragic. Three-pointer. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, he did not think twice. Firing away, Dragic knocks down and sinks the three ball. Portis kicks to Barrett. Back to Portis. The 10-footer. That one wide left. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. For Miami, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. And he makes both free throws. Seven seconds left in the second quarter. Dotson the pass to Barrett. There's the three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Excellent defense from Dragas there to make sure that shot was not an easy one. And so it's the Miami Heat. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? It's much different. Um, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David, and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It was all about Miami as the game got going. Their exceptional focus and all-around execution immediately triggered a 15-4 run at the start. They kept up enough momentum to close out the first quarter with a six-point lead. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason why it's a blowout right now, and they played well. 
Shaq, what did you think about New York? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all laid on their rotations. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know, I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better, Ernie. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Miami leading by 15 on the floor for Miami. We've got Hero. Myers Leonard is out there with Bam Adebayo. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's none in at the one spot. Here's Hero. Knocked loose. Adebayo down low. He's defended by Randall. Count it. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Here's Knox. Chalk up two there. Knox has got eight. Well, you love to see that Knox just inviting the contact and doesn't mind it one bit. Wants to show he's got the strength. The Heat shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That'll be his second foul of the game. And New York making a change here. Smith has checked in. Adebayo against Randall. Here's none. Robinson with the block. Here's Dotson, defended by Butler. And that one is good. Ten points for him. Making plays in traffic. This is where Barrett's most effective. And if you're just joining us, we've played over a minute here in the third. Pass to Leonard. Here's Hero. Pass to Nunn. Passes to Butler. Clock at four. Leonard, the pass to Hero. From deep three-point range, the Knicks pull it in. So far, Kevin, the third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Barrett with the ball. Ten points for him. Randall dishes to Robinson. And it's blocked. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Clock at two. Dotson drains it from beyond the arc. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Here's Hero. Nine points in the game so far. And there's the pass to Butler. Robinson with the block. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Knicks trail by 10. Bounce pass, Smith. Here's Robinson. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Robinson's got nine. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. 
And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Hero passes to Butler. Trying to end the drought. And too long on the shot. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Here's none, covered by Smith. Got a piece of it. That's just a good, solid, instinctual play there from Randall. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's none. Covered by Smith. Five on the clock. Nobody near Leonard. Miami no good on that time either. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Here's none. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Nung's got 20 points. Knicks trail by 10. Here's Dotson. He has five. Smith dishes to Randall, and the shot is good. He's got 15. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Outside Butler. And he's finally able to knock one down. Butler's got 12 in the game. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Randall surveying the D. Shoots from eight. And again, it's New York. The adjustments they've made offensively they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ball game. None passes to Butler. To the middle, here's Leonard. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got six assists in the game. Leonard is a big guy at seven foot one, so when the defense is all over him, he can use his height to overpower people. Smith kicks to Barrett. Pass to Dodson. To the paint. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Barrett. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Good ball movement here by Miami. Back to Butler. Over Randall. And it's Butler missing. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. And Greg, when you look at the top perimeter defenders in the game today, how high does Jimmy Butler rank on that list? Look, he's in the top handful, no doubt about it. Multiple all-defense selections. He is a true two-way terror. You know, Kevin, can Dennis Smith Jr. not rely on just trying to be explosive all the time? Can he play with some poise and patience and get the in-between game going to help this offense do what it needs to do to function efficiently? That is the task at hand for Dennis Smith Jr. as he plays for the New York Knicks this season. Free throw drop for Smith. And Brent, you and I were just talking about this. With Smith, he's learning to pass out of or turn to a floater more often on his drives. Yeah, that's because he used to be able to, because of his athleticism and playing against lesser talent, burst by guys and have no obstruction. Well, in the NBA, it doesn't quite work that way. You've got to find ways to, once you get into the gaps, have decisions at the ready, whether that's to score or make plays for your teammates. That's where Dennis Smith Jr. has to improve. Rogic against Smith. Now Drogic, eight points for him. 
Shoots from 14, buries the jump shot. Dragic has got 10 points. Yeah, Dragic is a solid shooter, especially from the mid-range area on the floor. Smith the pass to Randall. Harkless on the wing. And Randall throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. And it's the Heat with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Smith against Dragic. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Adebayo throws it down. And nice court vision from Dragic there to get a great look at the bucket. Pass to Gibson. Crowder with the steal. Here's Iguodala. And it's Miami with another. Now here is Smith. Six points for him. Dish now to Randall. Right side Gibson. Shoots over Crowder. And it's Gibson that time on the assist from Randall. Six points for Taj Gibson. Yeah, the man was wide open there, and Julius Randall understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. The Heat leading by eight. Iguodala, the pass to Autobio. And here is Iguodala, covered by Smith. Back to Dragic. Six on the shot clock. Trying to get open is Crowder. Dragic against the bucket. Dragic has got four points this quarter. Well, we all know how confident Goran Dragic is when it comes to scoring inside. Nice shot selection there for him. Smith kicks to Barrett. The three-pointer off the mark. Iguodala with it, now guarded by Gibson. Iguodala, wide open, and Harkless pulls it down. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. Here's Gibson, he feeds it to Randall, puts it up. Tries again, he lays it in. Randall's got 19 points. Yeah, Randall not giving up on that play. Smells that one out, grabs the ball, and gets two more. Adebayo kicks to Dragic. From deep, Igudawa. It's rebounded by New York. And here's Barrett. 12 points for him. Harkless the pass to Gibson. Back to Harkless. Can't hit that one. Excellent D that time from Robinson. The Heat leading by eight. Pass to Iguodala. Outside Dragic. Steps back and fires. Knicks with the rebound. Barrett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Harkless with the bucket. Recognizing spacing on the floor there, Dennis Smith Jr. with a nice job of delivering. Dragic with it. He's got 12. The pass to Crowder. Launches it. No good there. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Harkless kicks to Barrett. Here's Randall. Connects on the open J. And now it's just a four-point heat lead. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. And Miami calls their first timeout of the game. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. So for the Knicks, Bobby Portis comes in for Randall, and Kevin Knox is subbed in for Harkless. Then for the Heat, Olenek comes in for Bam Adebayo, and Hero subbed in for Robinson. Good ball movement here by Miami. 
Dragic looking for an opening. Shoots from the elbow. A shot by Crowder, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Barrett kicks to Smith. Outside Portis lets it go from deep. Rebound by the Heat. 17 points was their biggest margin. And there's the foul. It goes on Taj Gibson. And that'll be his third foul so far. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for Miami. They lead by four. Here's Dragic. Trying to get something going. That one doesn't go. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Nice move. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Barrett, and he uses the glass on the layup. Barrett's got six in the quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Dragic dishes to Iguodala. Here's Hero. He's got nine. Here's Crowder. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Taj Gibson picks one up. The Heat have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. good on the second Smith outside in the corner knocks with it it's off his leg and it's whistled a kick Just four seconds left in the third quarter of the game. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. It's the Heat leading by three. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Barrett Knox are the wingmen. Taj Gibson is out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Smith in at the point. That's the five for New York right now. The Heat leading by three. Over to the wing. Fires for three. Hero no good. The Knicks shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Inside. Pulls it up. Nice shot by Portis. They are just killing them on the interior. The Heat shooting in this game, 45%. Rogic against Smith. Pass to Hero. Nice 
nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And the Heat lead by three. And he waited for the last possible minute to get that one off. Made a sick adjustment right before he let it go. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Th those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. Well, look at Smith. He's definitely got a shot of making it to the top four swatch this year. We'll just have to see if he ends up moving up. Uh, I, listen, I know this guy is hoping he gets the opportunity to be a part of it this year, and it would be a huge disappointment for him if he's not able to showcase some of those phenomenal dunking skills. And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I'm still going. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Robinson's checked in for New York. Damian Dotson comes in for Barrett. The Heat also with a sub. Butler's checked in. Here's Hero. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. The feed to Olenek. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Here's Dotson. Knox the pass to Robinson. Back to Knox from outside the arc. And the Knicks miss again. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Smith the pass to Dotson. And he knocks down the first one. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Kelly Olenek. He hits both from the strike. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Dragic. The Heat making a switch here. Nunn's checked in. And it's the Knicks with the ball. They trail by three. And the foul called on Myers Leonard. That's foul number two for him. Here's Dotson. Pass to Knox to tie it up. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Heat. 17 points was their biggest margin. Leonard looking over the floor. Crowder against Portis. Six to shoot. Shoots. Again, the miss by the Heat. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line.
first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's none. Left side, Leonard. Butler up top. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And how about the strength inside there from Butler? Just excellent at finding ways to get the D to foul him down low. Shooting two. Free throw, good Butler. And just no question that Butler is a bona fide star. I mean, a tough, rugged defender who's also a juggernaut on offense. Here's Smith. Outside Robinson. To the left side wing. And he hits it to tie the game up. So impressive, the, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting tonight. Here's none, covered by Smith. Just five to shoot. Let's the three fly, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. It's checked in for Knox, and Miami also making a switch. Autobio is checked in for Jay Crowder. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Now Smith. Outside, Robinson shoots over Leonard. And it's Robinson that time on the assist by Smith. Smith's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's none, covered by Smith. None passes to Hero. Shot clock at six. Almost, but it rolls out. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Here's none, covered by Smith. Here's none. Teardrop shot. Passes it to Autobio. And they convert at last on attempt number three. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. Now here is Smith. Here's Dotson. Smith outside. Fires the three. Robinson passes to Ports. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And the former Razorback, Bobby Portis, took a few years to find his spot in the NBA. But now he does produce. And, and great big man to bring in off the bench. Good size and quickness combination and will always give you scoring with that second unit. throw good Portis and good on the second so he makes them both 
Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. None passes to Autobahn. Here's Hero on the pass to Butler. And right on target. Good. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust. The yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. But when it gets close, he's getting the ball. To the inside. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got the lead up to four now for the Knicks. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. A baseline J, and it's Miami with another. Very steady in between game there for Sorry. Butler. You, you don't want to let him get too many of those. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Julius Randle. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Julius Randle's checked in for Bobby Portis. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Fisdale said to the team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. A two-point game. Pass to Barrett. Tries from seven. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Smith's got six assists now in the game. Here's none. Over to the left wing. Here's Hero. Outside Butler. Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And Randall throws it down. Uh, Randall with a great effort there. Up and athletic and at the rim. Here's none. Pass to Autobio. Here's Hero. Passes it to Butler. Robinson with the block. Smith feeling it out a bit. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here's none. Covered by Smith. The pass to Autobio. Outside Leonard from downtown. Dotson with the rebound. Dotson's got four rebounds in this game. The drive by Smith. The second chance effort, Robinson. They shoot again. And finally they hit one. And the Knicks lead by eight. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. You saw by that putback there, he's just completely locked in. They're getting full contributions from him right now. Here's none. Covered by Smith. Puts it up from 12. Randall grabs the board. The Knicks leading by eight. And here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way. Smith, no good. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. They can use a bucket, and it's Butler laying it in. Timeout, timeout. Butler's got eight points in the quarter. 
And, and Butler loves getting close to the basket. Once he's down low, he, he uses that strength and quick release to get shots off. New York calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. For New York, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dotson, defended by Butler to the right side. Randall down low, high to bio on him. Randall with the bucket. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Leonard finds Butler. One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter. Oh, that's blocked. Down low, here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. The Heat trail by 10. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's none. Covered by Smith. Butler. Robinson pulls it in. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Randall kicks to Smith. New York moving it around. And here we go. Butler heading to the hoop. And the layup falls. Butler's got 12 points here in the second half. And how about the speed there from Butler? Just a knack for knowing where to run in transition. And here's Smith. Pass to Dodson. Here's Randall, defended by Butler. Right block shot. Trying to get open is Robinson. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Here's Dotson. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here. Portis, he's checked in for the Knicks. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. Iguodala, the pass to Hill. On the wing, it's Iguodala, covered by Smith. Iguodala outside, lock at six. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, Iguodala doing a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and then uses the angles so well. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Uh, Andre Iguodala about as reliable as it gets. Steve Kerr calls him the adult in the room. And the second of two is good. That brings them to within 10. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Here's Trier. So no problem for New York as they get the win. 
some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done at multiple ends. Where does your focus been in terms of approach? Just taking what the defense gives them. Um, I'm a lot more patient. Uh, let the game come to me. Um, don't really try to force things as much. You know, sometimes I get out of character, but uh, you know, just try my hardest to let the game come to me the most. Well, you were a big part of the win tonight, Julius. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.